animal, plant, and bacterial cells all use a conserved membrane protein, the F0F1 complex, to synthesize ATP. In animal cells, this complex is found at the inner mitochondrial membrane. The proton motive force established by the electron transport chain allows protons to flow down their concentration gradient through the F0 complex. Proton movement releases energy, which is used to synthesize ATP. Coupling of proton translocation with ATP synthesis can be understood by examining the structure of the F0-F1 complex. F0 contains an arrangement of A, B, and C subunits. A proton channel lies at the interface of the A subunit and the ring of C subunits. F1 includes an alpha-beta-3 hexamer, where ATP synthesis occurs. The hexamer is connected to F0 in two places, through the rotating gamma and fixed delta subunits. The current model of ATP synthesis postulates that proton translocation results in rotation of the C-ring and gamma subunit. While gamma rotates, the alpha-beta-3 hexamer is held in place by the delta and B subunits. Rotation of gamma relative to the fixed alpha-beta-3 hexamer causes each beta subunit to cycle through three conformational states. Here we focus on the beta-1 subunit. In the O state, the beta-1 subunit binds ADP and inorganic phosphate weakly. A 120-degree rotation of gamma switches the beta-1 subunit to the L state, which binds ADP and inorganic phosphate more strongly. The next rotation of gamma results in the T state, where ADP and inorganic phosphate are bound so tightly that they spontaneously form ATP. One more gamma rotation brings the beta-1 subunit back to the O state, which binds ATP weakly. Thus, the newly synthesized ATP is released into the mitochondrial matrix. The beta-1 subunit is now free to bind ADP and inorganic phosphate, starting a new cycle.